we're going to finish off building the rig, starting off with the spine up through the neck and the head, and then completing the, the left arm, which we'll mirror over, much like we did with the, the legs. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started in our side view. I'm going to activate the joint tool under skeleton. And I'm going to drop this over here off to uh, the side here. I don't want to click directly on top of this joint because I don't want them to connect accidentally. But I do want to line them up so that they are on top of each other here. And then I'm going to draw the first bone, so sort of the backbone, and then the chest right here. And this is where our shoulders are going to connect to. And then the base of our neck right here the neck, and then finishing off here at the top of the head, and hitting enter. Okay, so come back out here. So we, we should not have a connection here at the hip bone yet. We're going to build a separate rig for the hips. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with the arm. And the best position for that really is the top view. We want to get that preferred angle for the elbow, much like we did for the knee. And we may have to reposition the shoulder if we don't get it quite in the right place, uh, but we can do that after we get the rig complete. So let's go ahead and activate that again. Click and drag that into position right about here. Again, I'm sort of guessing uh, where that's at. And making sure I've got that preferred angle, so I'm bringing the, the elbow position back a little bit. And then up here with the wrist, just so there's a slight bend here. That way when we drop in our IK handle, uh, it's going to tell Maya which way we want the elbow bending. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the index finger out here at the knuckle, and then we have these divisions in the fingers here. This is where they're going to bend, so we want to line that up with that center division last one here and then out at the fingertip and enter on the keyboard. Sometimes I like to come in here and just select, shift select all of these and come over here to the radius and just bring that down a little bit. Maybe something like 0.3. Okay, and then I'm just going to access that joint tool again by hitting Y on the keyboard, starting here with the knuckle, working my way down finger here, enter on the keyboard, and again we can shift select these and drop the radius down to 0.3, Y on the keyboard again, activating the joint tool, finishing off the pinky finger, again selecting these, and bringing the radius down to 0.3. All right, so let's get the thumb next, Y on the keyboard. I drop the first joint in right about here, and down here. So I'm just sort of uh, lining, up, lining it up down the center of the thumb here. We are going to have to rotate this into position. All right, and again, we can shift select all of those and bring that radius down. Point three. All right, so let's go ahead and we've got this one selected here at the root, and I'm going to go ahead and shift select these others here, and then shift select the wrist and hit P on the keyboard to parent those. Okay, so we've got the hand rig complete now, and if we come out here to perspective, we're going to see it down here on the grid. And let's just come back here and grab that root joint and drag that up into position. Okay, so you see we need to kind of rotate this down a little bit, kind of like uh, what we did with the, the legs. So I'm going to go into my attribute editor and under the joint orient, we're going to come down to Z. I'm going to hold down the control key and just inside this box here, I'm going to rotate this down. And 
probably best to do this from our front view, be a little bit more accurate. Okay. And the position of this should probably be back just a little bit. I'm going to hold down the D key. That activates the pivot tool there, so we can just kind of pull this into position right about there. So that's looking good. Let's come in here and check our fingers. Uh, not quite where they need to be yet. Let's come back here and kind of adjust the rotation on it slightly, just bringing it back up. We need to maybe bring this down a little bit and then rotate it back up about like that. Okay, so the fingers are all aligned properly. We're going to have to rotate the thumb into position here in just a moment. Okay, everything else looks pretty good. Let's come back up here to our perspective view. And you can see our thumb is not angled properly yet. So let's access that right there and go ahead and rotate that down. And grabbing this one here. Okay, so this is still up a little bit high here. down control and again rotating that down and I think we may actually have to just uh, move this down and then reset the transforms on it. It is sitting up just a little bit too high so it really needs to be oriented down here in the center like that of the palm and then we'll bring back bring the rotation back a little bit for the thumb and a little bit off this way. So we're really trying to align that right down the center of that thumb. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Bring this back just a bit. All right, so we're going to have to uh, freeze the transforms on this. So I'm going to come under here, open up the option box, and make sure that I select joint orient and freeze transforms. Okay. And we are going to have to correct the, um, the orientation of these, much like we did with the knee. All right, but it looks like we've got that in position now. Okay, let's go ahead and rename the joints, much like we did with our other joints down here. We're going to just kind of follow the same naming conventions. We're going to be bound. This is the left shoulder and we can copy and paste that into this one this is the left elbow and the wrist starting down the thumb here. And I'm going to call that A. And I'm going to copy this, paste it onto the next one. And this will be B. And C. And this one is not going to be bound here, so I'll just change that to BE and E at the end here as well. All right, so A, B, C, D. Whoops, that should have been D. All right. Okay, and starting down the index finger here, paste that. So we've got index. Just copy that now and move down the chain. That's B. C. 
see. And D, and this is not bound here at the end, so we'll just change that to E as well. All right, and moving on, the middle finger. So we'll rename that to middle, copy that, and move down the chain. And you kind of get the idea here, so go ahead and finish out naming everything here. And we will come back and um, go ahead and name the spine too. Uh, I can just show you how I'm going to start the spine here. So it'll be, it'll be bound spine A, and then you can just move up the chain, copy, paste that. That will be B, and we'll come back in the next lesson and make the connections here. We'll add an IK handle and mirror over our left arm and be pretty much done with building the rig.